This is not another, if your spine isn't in a perfect position all day long, it's the worst thing for you post. Nor is this a, your back pain is entirely caused by the curve of your spine post. This is rather a post highlighting that the curvature of your spine is just one factor to look at if you're experiencing back pain. The other factors, number one, how well the spine can actually move. Bending, arching, rotating, leaning to the side. Number two, the ability for you to use and control abdominal muscles. Number three, hip range of motion. Number four, the muscle balance between the right and the left hip. Number five, the muscle balance between the right and left shoulder. And last but not least, number six, the level of physical activity. Measuring the spinal curves can be useful in determining the cause of back pain. However, it should not be seen as a catch-all method. To truly get answers, a more holistic approach is required. An approach that considers how the spine moves, how the spine moves with the hips and shoulders, and how well the core muscles support your day-to-day -day movement. Combine all this together and your chances of resolving a painful back significantly increase. I put together a program designed to restore the range of motion with your spine, balance the hips, balance the shoulders, retrain the core to support you better, and improve full body movement patterns. If you'd like to learn more, click the link in my bio. I'd love to help you and make a huge difference in your life.